Good afternoon, everyone. Today is the 11th of July. It's Thursday morning, Thursday afternoon. Mark has been reading through the book of Genesis. He's ready for the 21st chapter of Genesis today. <coughs> Mark. And so we're going to turn that over to him. This is the story of Sarah conceiving Isaac. And the fact that Isaac was circumcised the eighth day, and Abraham was a hundred years old when his son Isaac was born unto him, and how that um, Sarah wanted to get rid of Ishmael and ask that he be cast out of her home, and so. It also shows the mercy of God upon Hagar and um, showed Hagar a bottle of water and, and uh, how that Hagar dwelled up in the wilderness. And then it also talks about how that um, Abram got into complication with Amphimelech over water, well water, and um, so it also talks about the fact that Abram spent a lot of time in the land of the Philistines. Genesis chapter 21. The Lord visited Sarah as he said. The Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age. It's that time in which God had spoken to him. Abraham called the name of his son that was born unto him. And Sarah bare to him Isaac. Abraham circumcised his son Isaac, being eight days old, as God had commanded him. Abraham was a hundred years old, and his son Isaac was born unto him. Sarah said, God made me to laugh, so that all that hear will laugh with me. She said she would have said to Abraham that Sarah should have given children such. For I born him a son in his old age. The child grew and was weaned. Abraham made a great feast the same day that Isaac was weaned. Sarah saw the son of Hagar the Egyptian, which she had born, and Abraham mocked him. Wherefore she said to Abraham, Cast out this bondwoman and her son. The son of this bondwoman shall not be heir with my son, even with Isaac. The thing was very grievous to Abraham's sight because of his son. God said to Abraham, Let it not be grievous in thy sight because of the lad, because of thy bondwoman, and all that Sarah hath said unto thee, hearken unto her voice. For Isaac shall thy seed be called. And also the son of the bondwoman will I make a nation because he is thy seed. Abraham rose up early in the morning and took bread and a bottle of water and gave it unto Agar, put it on her shoulder. And the child sent her away, and she departed and wandered in the wilderness to Beersheba. The water was spent in the bottle, and she cast the child out under one of the shrubs. And she went and sat her down over against him a good way off, as it were a bow shot. For she said, Let me not see the death of the child. And she sat over against him and lifted up her voice and wept. God heard the voice of the lad, and the angel of God called to Hagar out of heaven, and said unto her, What able be Hagar? Fear not, for God hath heard the voice of the lad where he is. Arise, lift up the lad, and hold him in thy hand, for I will make him a great nation. God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water, and she went and filled the bottle with water and gave the lad drink. And God was with the lad, and he grew and dwelt in the wilderness and became an archer. He dwelt in the wilderness of Paran. His mother took him a wife out of the land of Egypt. 
It came to pass at that time that Abimelech and Bichol, the chief captain of his host, spake unto Abraham, saying, God is with thee in all that thou doest. Now therefore swear unto me here by God, thou wilt not dwell falsely with me, nor with my son, nor with my son's son. According to the kindness that I have done unto thee, thou shalt do unto me in the land where thou hast sojourned. Abram said, I will swear. Abraham reproved Abimelech because of a well of water which Abimelech's servants had violently taken away. Abimelech said, I wot not who had done this thing, neither didst thou tell me, neither yet heard I of it but today. And Abraham took sheep and oxen and gave them unto Abimelech. Both of them made a covenant. Abraham set seven new lambs. Well, Abraham set seven new lambs to flock by themselves. Abraham said to Abraham, Abraham, Abimelech said unto Abraham, <coughs> What mean these seven new lambs which I have set by themselves? He said, For these seven new lambs shalt thou take by my hand, that they may be a witness unto me. So I have digged this well. Therefore he called that place Bereshiva, because there they swore both of them. Thus they made a covenant in Bereshiva, that Abimelech rose up and the chief captain of those people, and they returned into the land of the Philistines. Abraham planted a grove in Bereshiva, and called there on the name of the Lord, the everlasting God. Abraham sojourned in the Philistines' land many days. So we see that there's a special inheritance to God's elect in this passage. 